For nearly five decades, a solitary spacecraft has drifted through the infinite, chilling void beyond our solar system. A lone emissary of humanity, venturing farther than any creation ever forged by human hands. This aging probe, a relic of ambition and ingenuity, has wandered deeper into the cosmos than any machine dared to dream. A ghostly voyager carrying the hopes, dreams, and echoes of a distant Earth. Scientists long anticipated its slow descent into silence, its systems fading as its power dwindled, its signals growing faint like whispers lost in the wind. Yet, in a shocking twist that defies all logic, just when the world believed this spacecraft was writing its final chapter, something utterly unthinkable happened. It changed its course, not by command from Earth, not due to mechanical failure, but as if guided by an unseen will. Even more unsettling, mere days before this inexplicable shift, the probe detected a low-frequency hum, a haunting sound with no known origin, no match in any scientific archive, and no rational explanation. Now, with its antenna still locked on Earth, the spacecraft is veering back, or perhaps being pulled, towards something unknown. What did it encounter in the abyssal darkness? What force, what presence compelled it to turn? The cosmos, it seems, has begun to whisper back, and its message is both exhilarating and terrifying. To grasp the magnitude of this cosmic enigma, we must journey back to 1977, when two spacecraft were launched into the heavens, designed to seize a rare celestial alignment that occurs only once every 176 years. Their mission was audacious, a grand tour of the outer planets, harnessing the gravitational might of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune to catapult them deeper into the unknown. The first of these, tasked with sweeping past Jupiter and Saturn, beamed back images that rewrote the annals of science. Volcanic eruptions on Io, the intricate braids of Saturn's rings, the enigmatic haze cloaking Titan. These revelations were nothing short of revolutionary, igniting imaginations and redefining our understanding of the cosmos. But when its planetary mission concluded, this spacecraft pressed on, undaunted, past Pluto's orbit, beyond the heliosphere, and into the uncharted realm of interstellar space, a domain untouched by human technology. Year after year, it sent back dwindling streams of data, its systems growing colder, its connection to our sun a fading memory. Yet its purpose remained unyielding, to explore, to endure, to reach. For decades, the spacecraft's faint signals reached Earth, delayed packets of plasma densities, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays, each transmission a testament to its relentless journey. But in its 46th year, on an unassuming day, its instruments captured something unprecedented, a faint, continuous hum embedded in the plasma wave frequencies. At first, scientists dismissed it as interference, a glitch in the probe's aging systems, Yet, as the signal persisted, verified by multiple antennas across the deep space network, unease crept in. This was no ordinary sound. It bore no resemblance to cosmic background radiation, solar flares, or any known phenomenon. Its source could not be pinpointed, its fluctuations eerily precise, following mathematical intervals that hinted at something deliberate, something structured, like a message not meant to be overheard, but recorded. For weeks, experts pored over the data, cross-referencing every known cosmic event. Yet no answers emerged. Then, without warning, the spacecraft executed a subtle but undeniable shift in its trajectory, a maneuver no one on Earth had commanded. The question shifted from, what did we hear, to who or what heard us. Powered by a decaying radioisotope thermoelectric generator, the spacecraft's ability to maneuver is limited to minute adjustments through thrusters dormant for years. Yet, telemetry confirmed the impossible, a deliberate reorientation, as if the probe had turned to gaze upon something in the vast emptiness. Engineers scrambled to explain it, perhaps a pre-programmed failsafe, an errant line of code triggered by a sensor glitch. But the logs revealed no such command. More perplexing, this shift aligned the spacecraft's long dormant camera array, unused since capturing the iconic pale blue dot image in 1990, toward a region of space devoid of known stars, galaxies, 
or gravitational anomalies. Why point there? What had its instruments detected? At over 15 billion miles from Earth, with no autopilot, no corrections, no assistance, the spacecraft appeared to act with intent. Or did it? The mystery deepened, and the cosmos grew heavier with questions. In the weeks following this trajectory shift, the spacecraft's transmissions began to change, carrying subtle distortions in timing and frequency that revealed something extraordinary upon closer inspection, patterns woven into the data stream. These were not random errors, but intentional modulations, repeating across multiple packets in complex sequences that echoed binary logic and harmonic resonance. Experts in cryptography, artificial intelligence, and linguistics were summoned, their analyses sparking chilling theories. Some suggested the patterns might indicate a response, as if the spacecraft was not merely observing, but being observed in return. The notion that this could be a two-way communication initiated by humanity nearly five decades ago with a golden disk carrying greetings, music, and diagrams raised staggering possibilities. Could the probe have encountered an intelligence that communicates not through radio waves but via gravitational distortions, magnetic fields, or some unfathomable medium? And if so, has that intelligence turned its gaze toward us? Behind closed doors, urgent meetings convened at a renowned space research facility, where a select team of physicists, engineers, and mission veterans grappled with the anomaly. What began as a minor deviation erupted into a fierce debate. Some insisted it was the final gasp of a dying spacecraft, a glitch born of failing hardware. Others, scrutinizing the signal's consistency and the precision of the course correction, proposed a more alarming hypothesis. The probe might have encountered an unknown gravitational or electromagnetic phenomenon, or, more disturbingly, something not of natural origin. Each new data burst intensified the mystery, revealing geometric ratios, symmetrical intervals, and harmonic feedback that suggested deliberate structure, as if something was mirroring the probe's actions. The team found itself confronting a question no space agency is prepared to answer. What if this isn't random? What if this is contact? As whispers of the anomaly spread, the global scientific community erupted in a frenzy of analysis. Independent researchers proposed radical theories. Perhaps the spacecraft had entered a field of dark matter interaction or brushed against a region of space-time distortion, the kind theorized near massive gravitational anomalies or exotic cosmic objects. One paper, however, sent shockwaves through the academic world. A team of artificial intelligence researchers using pattern recognition software discovered that the altered signals bore mathematical similarities to a binary transmission sent from Earth in 1974, a message beamed toward the stars to announce humanity's presence. The overlap was uncanny, raising the bone-chilling possibility that an intelligence had received our signal and was now responding, using the spacecraft as a conduit. Was this cosmic noise, or was it a reply from the void? When the spacecraft was launched, it carried a golden disk, a copper record coated in gold, etched with greetings in 55 languages, music from countless cultures, and diagrams mapping Earth's location relative to known pulsars. It was a gesture both poetic and bold, a message to the stars meant to endure long after humanity faded. Few believed it would ever be found, let alone understood, Yet now, with the spacecraft exhibiting signs of deviation and possible interaction, attention has turned to that disk. Could its contents, our voices, our music, our coordinates, have been decoded by something it passed in the darkness? If so, the spacecraft is no longer a relic, but a beacon, broadcasting our existence for nearly half a century. The implications are staggering, not just for science, but for the very future of humanity. If something out there heard us, what does it know? And what does it want? As the signal continues to evolve, internal reports suggest a quiet shift in protocol. Team members have been directed to avoid speculating about non-natural causes in official statements, classifying the event as a data anomaly under review. Off the record, however, some admit to a growing unease. The spacecraft's behavior defies all known astrophysical patterns. It responds, it adapts, it mirrors, like something aware. The fear is not just of what it has encountered, but of what it means for us. 
If a machine drifting through the most isolated reaches of the universe has stumbled upon a presence, a field, or a signal that reacts to its movements, we face a question that shatters our understanding. Has something been watching us all along? The spacecraft, built to explore distant worlds, was never meant to last this long, nor was it designed to make contact with the unknown. Yet, it may have done just that. What began as a mission to chart the outer planets has spiraled into a cosmic mystery that brushes against the edges of philosophy, science, and existential dread. This spacecraft, adrift 15 billion miles from home, may have found something, or been found. The signal distortions, the impossible course correction, the eerie patterns echoing our own messages, they point to a possibility that is as breathtaking as it is terrifying. This may not be contact with intelligent life as we imagine it, but with something vast, structured, and aware. If this is the final chapter of the spacecraft's journey, it does not end in silence, but with a question that reverberates through the cosmos. Are we no longer the observers, but the observed? The stars, once silent, now seem to speak, and their message carries both wonder and warning. The implications of this moment ripple far beyond the scientific community, touching the core of what it means to be human. For nearly five decades, the spacecraft has been a symbol of our relentless curiosity, a testament to our desire to reach beyond the known. Now, it stands at the precipice of something greater, something that could redefine our place in the universe. If the patterns in its signals are indeed a response, they suggest an intelligence capable of manipulating or mimicking our technology, perhaps even understanding our intentions. The golden disk, with its songs and greetings, was meant to introduce humanity to the cosmos. But what if it has done more than that? What if it has drawn attention to our fragile world, a pale blue dot in the vastness of space? The thought is both exhilarating and paralyzing, a reminder of how small we are and how vast the unknown remains. The spacecraft's journey has always been one of solitude, a lone explorer in the infinite dark. Yet now, it seems less alone, as if something has joined it in the void. The hum it detected, the course it altered, the signals it now sends, they all suggest an encounter that defies explanation. Scientists continue to analyze the data, searching for answers in the patterns, but each discovery only deepens the mystery. Could the spacecraft have crossed into a region of space where the laws of physics bend, where dark matter or unseen forces exert influence? Or has it stumbled upon something that perceives, responds, and perhaps even understands? The distinction between natural and unnatural blurs, leaving us to wonder whether the cosmos itself is alive in ways we cannot comprehend. As the world grapples with these questions, the spacecraft continues its silent journey, its antenna still pointed toward Earth, its signals still streaming across the void. Each transmission is a thread connecting us to the unknown a fragile link to a mystery that grows more profound with every passing day. The scientific community remains divided, torn between skepticism and awe, between the comfort of known physics and the terror of the unexplainable. Yet one truth is undeniable. This spacecraft, a product of human hands, has touched something beyond our grasp. Whether it is a phenomenon, a force, or an intelligence, its presence challenges everything we believe about the universe and our place within it. The golden disk, with its message of peace and curiosity, was a gamble, a bold declaration that we are here, that we seek to know, that we are not alone. Now, as the spacecraft's signals carry echoes of that message back to us, we must confront the possibility that our call has been answered. The implications are as profound as they are unsettling. If something out there has heard us, it knows where we are, it knows who we are, and it may be coming closer. The spacecraft, once a symbol of exploration, has become a harbinger of something greater, something that could unite humanity in wonder or divide us in fear. Its journey, begun in an era of optimism, now stands at the edge of the unknown, where science meets mystery and courage meets dread. This moment is a turning point, not just for the spacecraft, but for all of humanity. The signals it sends, the path it now follows, the hum it detected, they are not just data points, but a narrative that could reshape our future. If this is contact, it is unlike anything we imagined. It is not a handshake across the stars, but a whisper from the dark, a signal that we are not alone, 
but perhaps never were. The spacecraft's story, once a tale of triumph, has become a saga of cosmic proportions, a reminder that the universe is vast, unpredictable, and alive with possibilities we cannot yet fathom. As we listen to its signals, we are forced to ask, what if the stars have been watching us all along? What if our exploration has awakened something that now turns its gaze toward us? The answers, if they come, may change everything we know about the cosmos and about ourselves. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the wonders of space.